percents are something you see all over in the real world. And um, percents actually mean something really simple. All percent means is divide by 100. Uh, if you kind of examine the, the words, per typically means divided by. You know, miles per hour is miles divided by hours. Um, so per means divided by. And cent means 100. So you have, in a century, you have 100 years. Uh, you have 100 cents in a dollar. So you know, cent means 100. Per cent means divide by 100. So if I say 40%, it literally means 40 divided by 100, which is 0 0.40. Now, how we accomplish that, the easy, um, dividing by 100 is actually really easy in our, in our system of numbers. We just move our decimal place over two places. So for instance, if we want to write 14% as a decimal, what I mean by that is to write it without the percent symbol. Uh, percents generally are not a good idea to keep in your equations, so you just want to get rid of them when you're dealing with them. Um, and how we get rid of them is, we, well, we just translate what they mean. 14% means 14 divided by 100. T to account for the fact that we're dividing by 100, I'm going to move my decimal place over one, two places. So it gets right here. So we get 0.14. 14%, I rewrite as 0.14. That's how I write it as a decimal. And it's always two places that I'm going to be moving. Um, so you can see, even if I have 231.4%, 2314, those are the numbers I'm having. Um, I'm dividing by 100, which means I'll move one, two places to the left, which puts the decimal between the two and the three there. So 2.314 2 is 231.4%. Doesn't really impact anything, the fact that this is bigger than 100%. Um, even if the number is rather small, like this, 0.0, uh, 0 0.013%. I'm still going to go 0013. I'm still going to move my decimal place over two places to the left, but you'll notice there isn't enough digits to keep moving to the left, so I have to fill some in. I'm going to have to write a 0 in here, so I'll go 0 0.00, or, yeah, 0 0.0013 because it's moved over. There was one zero here. There's now two additional zeros before, uh, between the, the one three and the decimal. Uh, going the other way, if we have 0.23 and we want to write it as a percent, well, the percent symbol means divided by 100. So if I want to introduce a percent symbol, I need to kind of undo moving the decimal place two places to the left, which means I want to move the decimal place two places to the right. So I'm starting with 0.23. If I want to write percent symbol in there, I have the 2.3 here. I'm going to want to move my decimal place two places the other direction, which is to the right. I end up with 23%. If I have 15, and I want to write that as a percent, I want to move my decimal place two places to the right. So 15, written as a percent, is 1,500%. 1, um, and again here, 0 0.00051. If I want to write that as a percent, I would need to move my, you know, I'm going to want to have the percent symbol in there, 0, 0, 0, 0051, which means I'm going to move the decimal place one, two places to the left. This becomes 0 0.051. Kind of got rid of two of those zeros. Um, you can actually almost visualize those two zeros that I got rid of as the two zeros in this percent symbol. Um, actually, you know, the, the percent symbol, those, those zeros there, do very closely reflect the fact that we're moving two decimal places. Um, as a little bonus to this video, if you're still watching, um, there are some additional things. So this is not part of the, the course material, but I think it's interesting nonetheless. There's something called a per mil. Um, a mil with two L's there. Um, you may look at that and think million, but that's not the mill I'm talking about. Mill is actually the same uh, the same root of the word as millipede or millennium. Um, this means thousand, not uh, not the cent of what uh, that we saw with hundred, um, but per mill. And the symbol there is like this. We actually have three zeros, and you can about guess how many decimal places we would move if we're introducing or getting rid of the per mil symbol. We'd want to move it three decimal or th yeah, three decimal places. Uh, mills are actually used fairly commonly in uh, taxes. If you've ever heard of a mill levy, this is talking about taxing you per thousand dollars of your house. Um, so a mill levy, that's 
not not a mill as in something that produces wheat or, or something along those lines, um, but rather or not a mill doesn't produce wheat; it produces flour um, from wheat. Whatever um, that that's the uh, the mill, and there's also something called a per deck. And where you've seen this de this uh, base of the word deck, maybe decade. Um, well, that means ten, and that symbol kind of looks like those other ones, but it only has the one zero, and you'd only move it one place. I actually haven't seen a uh, per deck in use in real length, uh, real life, but I have seen per mill, um, and specifically with taxes. That's why I brought that example up.